Ladies and gentlemen, time to point out the truth about Quebec City and the Vidéotron Center, a new building erected in 2015 and that is attracting a lot of attention. Discover the Illuminati agenda behind the construction of this stunningly designed amphitheater. It all started when the politicians thought that we absolutely needed a new multifunction building. The main theme they had in mind for that gigantic work? CERN's Large Hadron Collider. The building is located in the former Hippodrome land, former racecourse. Originally built in 1917 and closed down in 2011. Named Central Palace. So the area was already charged with history before construction even began. Don't believe me? Read the following facts. The arena's shape. Although there isn't a thousand shapes available to make an efficient stadium, if you look at the main building's edges, they almost form a perfect circle shape. The section where the seats and high shrink are as an oval shape, but the whole thing is round. And that's pretty much how it looks like from someone looking at it from outside. You can see by the second picture, the CV design makes the arena looks very high-tech. It almost looks more like a machine than an amphitheater. Furthermore, a round setup can be made so a band can play in the middle of the showroom, in a perfect circle. All of this has been thought of before the arena was made to allow these multiple stage and concert setups. On the facade, you have another striking evidence of the omnipresence of the LHC references in the Videotron Center. The windows that form two lines all around the building. The way they are made, with sections where they expand in thickness, strangely reminds of the main particle accelerator. That's the machine with the two pipes that run around a 27 km tunnel that form a giant circle underneath France and Switzerland. The angles of the windows, where they change in size, have the same angle of the actual tunnel in the location where they cross and where the main collider machines and detectors are installed. Plus, the shell of the building is built with thousands of aluminum rectangle pieces, just like the rare alloy plates inside the LHC detector. The acronym CERN is in the name of the arena, center or centre. Just like bands and artists can produce shows in the exact center of the arena. Maybe we ought to look into the exact geographical location of the stadium to see if there is not more to learn about that. The sponsor of the new arena has also a technical sounding connotation name that can complete the acronym CERN. Inside, if you look at the concert pictures, you can see that even the equipment are made in a way that matches the inside of the CERN machine. The whole stage strangely looks like a portal. The large electronic instruments are curved just like the pipes inside the large Adron Collider. The CV design, conceived to allow music superstar in the Illuminati music industry to broadcast occult teams when they stop in Quebec City and Toralia. The CV is truly a symbolic building of the New World Order. Artists producing at the CV, although they may not be able to thread all the specifics, know there's a hidden occult theme. They've seen the same thing in other cities, and they know the effects it has on their shows. Construction started in 2012, year of the New World Order's activation. An inauguration occurred in 2015, International Year of Light, a year in theme heavily mentioned in CERN's communication on a large hadron collider, adding more evidence that support the CV and CERN connections. All dates point out to occult meanings, although that doesn't mean much. The physical evidence are quite more overwhelming. 2015 was the year to learn about CERN and the LHC. It was truly the year where people brought it into discussions and started speculating of what it could imply. Architecture of the NWO is designed also to create an effect 
that drives humans away from truth and makes them more predisposed to accept wickedness and adopt darkness in their lives. People are small compared to this type of enormous piece of work. It is part of the blueprint of domination and mass demoralization. The elites like gathering thousands of people where mass communication can occur. The CV is a perfect place for that. Quebec City is a conservative area in needs of reform, and the Illuminati has now a perfect place to spread their new world order propaganda to the unsuspecting population. Through sounds, lights and images, they can subdue the entertainment hungry masses. In certain time when they will be able to gather good crowds, they hope the location will be the place with the most energy in the city. With mass exposure to Illuminati puppets, the effect will be maximized to the deluded public. A dent in the strategy. Low ticket sales because of the economic mass depression that will eventually bring the Great Reset. The CV is the perfect example of foolish state expenditure ordered by the corporate elites. It seems that the public is less gullible than intended by our anglers. Promoters have problems filling the vast amphitheaters for popular venues like Red Hot Chili Peppers and The Weeknd, even at discount prices. Other venues have reportedly problems to fill all the seats and the result is shows with sometimes half the expected crowd. The CV is too much of a big place to be able to frequently fill concerts at profitable level, given the financial capacity of the city population. Quebec is still a small city, and the large size of the concert room is not well adapted for certain bands. They are better off playing in a smaller place. The superstructure that will remain underused for the next decades is now an icon of things we can't afford, of useless grandeur, of odd designs, in times of economic uncertainty. The evil hidden agenda brought by the CV is of course mainly fund by taxpayers' money. Even with a major league sport team, the new Coliseum won't match the city reality as a business model. Just like the frail veil of lies and supercherie of the world of darkness, the CV fraud design can easily fall down like a house of cards and be revealed for the whole world to see. But why a simple building would have so much hidden meanings and references? If you think that design of the major buildings in your city is simply the fruit of coincidence or accidents, think again. Most important constructions in NWO cities feature numerous Freemasonry and symbologic references. The global elites like the attention they get out of this. Some would argue that since lots of people are involved in making a building, there's no way that type of information would remain secret. The people creating the final plans are a few people at the top who are the ones being aware of this. The CERN theme present in the CV scheme cannot be ignored no longer. The ultimate proof is the park that will take form in front of the arena and estimated to be delivered in the next few months. This public place that will accompany the building is at first sight pretty normal, but the sculpture the city intends to put in the center of it is everything but standard. Planned to be named La Rencontre, the meeting, it will consist of two deer of Virginia looking at each other from each side of an ice. The effect created is the deer looking at the ice and producing an almost perfect reflection of itself. Now we know from content produced by CERN in 2015 that the symmetry and reflection themes are very present in the ideology of the organization. It comes from the scientific theory that everything in nature has its exact opposite, symmetry. 
a main part of their work concerns matter and antimatter, and research the scientists at CERN did made made them conclude that both are actually a near perfect reflection of each other's, like a mirror. If you look at the future monument, it does look like the two sides of a mirror, just like I explained previously. One is dark, the other is white just like the symmetric equivalent of a black hole is a white hole. Another component thoroughly studied at CERN. I'm not going to go into details about CERN symmetry, as other people on the internet did a great job researching on this. I encourage you to look into it. The statue that will be installed in front of the arena could also include time reversal theory so this can be verified once the sculpture is installed. Time reversal is a concept linked to the theory of symmetry in nature. If nature is perfectly symmetric in everything, as demonstrated by numerous legitimate evidence, scientists at CERN believe that it could mean time is also symmetric. This would imply that according to symmetry time travel is possible, just like you can see your symmetric reflection in a mirror, if time would enter a mirror, it could start to go reverse. Yes, CERN scientists are actually talking about time travel. That could explain the difference in between the two deer, being separated by reflection as two different versions of the same deer in time. Also, the white color could refer to a spirit, meaning life and death in a time frame, or even life after death. The difference between the two animals could also hint that one of the objectives of CERN is to find an exception to symmetry, and that will be a game changer for science. I need to specify that I don't believe in time travel and that I find it very deceptive. It is brought forward to lure people into beliefs that bring them away from the natural order. The main goal of this scientific institution might be looking for the greater good. Nevertheless, these concepts are far-fetched and the way it is being done is questionable. Matter and antimatter is said to be present in equal quantity in our universe. Symmetric. CERN actually believe there is something that created a slight difference in between matter and antimatter that occurred at the Big Bang, giving a small advantage to matter, hence explaining the existence of the world we live in. Without this difference, matter and antimatter being oppositely charged would annul each other's and nothing couldn't have occurred. But we can all agree that there is too much esoteric and superstitious elements present in CERN ideology. Is that the right path to take? At this point, this is speculation. We will have to wait to see the real-life version of La Rencontre. Once again, these concepts are part of a bigger agenda, and the elites are just using the opportunity to communicate their ideology to the naive populace. The Illuminati are putting lots of money, resources, and energy in the CERN scientific organization. Who knows all the twisted goals they have in mind for the biggest machine ever built, whether that's real or not. These there will as well be quite large. It's going to be one of the biggest statues currently standing in Quebec City, if not the largest. Price of the goodie? 1.2 million. That's an estimate. It could be revised higher. That's actually the piece that is a dead giveaway that the CV has been built with a CERN design in mind. It is to be noted that the base they will install to put the statue on is quite interesting as well, just like any Freemason piece of work. The base where the two deer are resting looks like some kind of altar, and the two concrete bases have the shape of an unfinished pyramid. 
another heavy Illuminati reference. The city thinks we're dumb. Oh wait, they are dumb. They probably didn't get it yet. They still believe the CV is a snowdrift. Congère in French. A barely ever used word. You can tell the lack of effort to cover the fact they don't really know the real reasons for the design. This piece of art is also raising questions whether people would agree to fund such an occult production with their taxpayer money. With this piece of evidence, we have no reason to not make the link between the building and CERN's ALHC.